Good morning everybody, how are we all doing? Yeah, let's get into today's video. Yeah, so I'm at the doctor's surgery this morning, going in for my bloods. Oh, I call them the vampires because that's what it, it basically feels like. You're yeah, going to see a vampire and get your bloods done. I hope you're all doing fine today. Um, yeah, I don't know what's wrong with my face this morning. Let me just. Oh, oh you know what? I I've been into a shop to get a drink. One second. I've been walking around with that on my nose. A bit ago, I had a bit of cream there. Um, and yeah, just been, oh my lord, so I've just made a right little poo poo on myself. No wonder people are looking at me. <laughs> I had to get a fizzy drink just because I've not eaten yet and I've got a bit of a small bar of chocolate. Just to, I'm a little bit early. Just so. My buds, uh, if I get my buds, I'm nearly keeling over. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you with you in a little while. Just sat chilling. Um, went to go into my appointment, and this is the view I've got packed up. Yes. And I'm sweating my little, I won't go, I wasn't supposed to say sweating my little tush off but I won't say little, it, it's huge. Um, I might have to offer me a second, just saw my finger. I've got a bar of chocolate here from early from a blue, my blood test and is melted, I forgot it would go. Um, so I got back from doing my blood test. I'm not gonna I let Ruddy out for a little bit. I already started fighting with other cats, so they're in my sort of back in and Loki, and they're not in my good books. Naughty kitties, naughty kitties. I'm stressing out, I'm tired as well. This heat is not doing me any favors, and you know what? I'm kind of peed off so. I went to my doctor's this morning, obviously to go and get my bloods done, and then I decided to ask for a different password so I can get onto my patient, you know, card. Only to find out, no one I went to see the doctor's here, I don't know if you've seen that video, but it's not, was it yesterday, the day before, I can't remember, anyway. Monday I went and I did a video, go and check that out if you haven't already. And the doctor has put in my notes something to do with COVID and I'm like, what the hell? He's lied. He's lied on me. What do I do, guys? Put a comment in below because I am really peed off now. That just finished my day off after seeing that. So I'm going to speak to IHTT about that, see what they've got to say because they've lied in my, my notes. And, te and then he's basically said I've fob I'm getting fobbed off, which is true. That bit's true. But the remainder of it... He's lied and he's peed me off. Sorry, I'm easily distracted today. I'm trying to look around so I don't catch anybody in my anyway. I'll catch up with you in a bit. Hi, guys, it's been about an hour since I've come back from my appointment and I'm wiped out. I'm ready for a nap, which I might have to have to be honest because I didn't sleep very well last night. Um, got a bit emotional at my appointment today, um, and some of it were a, a bit more, I don't really want to get into it, but some of it were like, you know, happy, not happy, but like someone's actually listening to me for a change instead of getting fobbed off. So I can't remember what I've said so far on the video, <laughs> but I said to the, to the IHJT nurse, I said, you know what, 
I went on my doctor's notes. You know your patient notes that you can, if you go online, you can have a look. Oh, sorry if you had a bleep. It's blaming text messages telling me there's water, some water works going off. Anyhow, so I explained to her what was going off because I saw her yesterday, so she kind of asked me what was going on today. I said, well, I went on to the patient notes and found that the doctors lied. I said, because I never said that, and I never said that, and I never said that. And I definitely have never had COVID. So why has he put that in my notes? And she kind of like, yeah, they've got an habit of doing that. And she will agree with me because she's had something similar happen to her. And I'm like, but she explains, explained it in a way that she says, well, he's probably had like people coming in previous to you. So, well, she's trying to make it, me feel better by what she was saying. So she said, Probably had like three patients before going came in with a list of things that were wrong with them and it could be this, it could be that. I said, and you probably just got the last, the brunt of it, I'm the last one. I said, but <clears throat> I wouldn't go to the doctors if I didn't feel like I needed to be seen. I said, because I'm, I'm not going to be sitting there giving them a list if I'm not actually feeling it, if you know what I mean. Um, and I'm concerned with the choking and the swallowing because I'm struggling. And... I forgot to mention it to him yesterday, but after he said all that to me yesterday, I just kind of shut down and told him to leave the room. Um, but I said, I feel like I feel pressure there in my neck. Um, so I'm just going to have to change my arms. And I said that today to the nurse. I said, I won't go if I didn't need to be seen. I said, but I know this, it just feels different in my neck. And I said, I don't really, I didn't really think about saying that yesterday, but he just had no intentions of wanting to help me. So I just kind of, yeah, in a way, he did fob me off. Uh, but he wrote that in my notes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, now it makes you not want to go back to GPs. So I've had my blood stunt today for my thyroids and the vitamin D. And I know my vitamin D is going to be low, it always is. But this heat isn't helping, is it? It's way too warm. The dog's cackled on the floor, so it's sprawled out, so it cats. Ronnie wants help, but I won't let him out because I let him out this morning for a little bit and he got into a fight. I thought, oh god, you you know. Sorry, I, I keep putting my finger in front of the camera. Oh, I feel sorry for cats today. Um, and I don't want to let them out in this heat either because it's baking. I know they they probably find somewhere cool, but I'm, I'm not risking it. I don't want them getting burnt and sunstroke or whatever. You know what I mean? Anyhow, so I've just had a yogurt, um, and does anyone else do this? So I had a yogurt and a, a, dunk, a dairy dunker. You probably see it on my YouTube shorts. I've just done one with the two boys. You wouldn't think they're brothers, would you? One's fairly ones. Anyway, so I've sat there giving them a bit of cheese and the both sat there, and, all. <laughs> and then I, I had a yogurt, so the cats had enjoyed the rest of that. Anyway guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. Let me know what you're doing today and if you're struggling with the heat or does your pain levels get better in the heat because, yeah. Even even my high HTT woman said the doctors do not know a lot about high, uh, that, uh, fibromyalgia. So, yeah. There we go. Some professionals told it, said it to me. Anyway guys, thanks again for that on my shoulder. Thanks again for watching and I will catch up with you in the next video. Take care. Enjoy the Enjoy the sun, but stay safe. Bye bye. Don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe if you haven't already, and that notification bell. I'll see you later. Bye bye.